Welcome to another Adafruit wearables teardown. Today we're taking a look at the Disney Magic Band. You may have heard about this as an augmented upgrade for your kids to wear and track and have really interesting interactions at the Disney parks. There's some interesting electronics going on inside, so let's see what Lady Ada has to say about the design of the circuit. Hey everybody, thanks Becky for taking apart the Magic Band from the Magic Kingdom. This would seem like it was, it's really molded on. It's a quite a serious endeavor to take it out. What's, what's cute is actually when I was looking at this. So first off, this is the molding. So yeah, you can see that this plastic, you can actually read the part number off of the molded plastic and see every little component. This is, you know, the waterproof molded. It has to be able to survive, like people jumping into pools with their bands on and forgetting about them. And this is pretty much the only thing inside there. It's a little chip and it says NRF 24 ledn 14 this is um, related to the NRF2401 uh, RF chip that many people are familiar with. It's very, very low cost, 2.4 gigahertz RF chip. It's not Bluetooth low energy, it's not Wi-Fi. It's just a direct 2.4 gigahertz connection, uh, very low power. But this one actually, as you know, there's no other chips around it. This, not only it has the radio, but also has a little processor in it. So Nordic made a version of the chip that basically has a simple 32-bit processor in it. So, you know, if you want to not have to have the expense of an extra chip and you don't have to have something very complicated go on, this is good for you. There's a couple of passives. There's a 16 megahertz crystal up here, a nice crystal. These traces over here come to the back and these are your tested program points when it's manufactured. You can see the molding presses this in so much that you get little bumps on the back. And then this part over here looks like some sort of local antenna maybe. Um, because it says apparently it can be used for, for di distant as well, well as local communication. So there's possibly some way for it to act as a kind of a local sort of RFID-esque type thing. So when you touch the receiver, it notifies. This is molded on and this is the battery holder. So the battery is kind of tucked in here into this plastic. This is a coin cell, non-rechargeable CR1620, lithium coin cell. And then this battery connector kind of folds over and into it. So they, they avoided having any me mechanical connectors just by reusing this flex circuit. I guess they just press it in far enough that uh, it makes good contact. And then over here, this got torn a little bit, but there is an antenna that goes down the band. So this is the trace antenna. And if you look up the NRF24 um, LE1, which is this chipset, you can see, yeah, this is the analog front end for the uh, antenna, RX and TX, goes all the way out to the band. So it's pretty simple. There's just one chip, does processing and radio. The NRF24 can go quite a few meters. So yeah, this is definitely something that can do long distance communication, receive and transmit. Probably what happens is when you get the band, you know, it has a unique identifier already burned into it they take it to their station and then they tie it to your identification there and then eventually it, it stops working. With the bill of materials, I'd say probably about 75 cents. It's not the cheapest uh, design they could have gone with, but it's definitely a really good design. You can tell they, they didn't go for like some really low cost chip with like 900 megahertz or require a big antenna, maybe uh, more battery. They, they went with uh, a Nordic solution, kind of trusted, well-known chip, and it's very simple and you know they probably make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these a year, and they seem to be working out okay. So Nordic, Nordic, you win this one. And that's our teardown of the Magic Band. For this and many other teardowns, we use these tools and the Adafruit USB microscope with its articulated stand. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for future teardowns. Let us know what you'd like to see in the comments and check out our playlist with the past teardowns that we've done here at Adafruit.